here to describe our uh, small DC microgrid uh, experimental system here at the, uh, inside the London building. So first thing, we have solar panels outside. They feed into this room, and on this wall, there's four different strands. Uh, this last most box just connects to uh, two solar panels connected in parallel. So we turn it on with this switch here and follow this wire and you see our whole microgrid uh, in small system here. Uh, so I'll just turn on different parts. The first thing I'll point out, we got the voltage of the panels or it's here. So right now there's no current, so that's the open circuit voltage. Uh, so let me uh, turn on some uh, parts. Right now, we're controlling everything with MATLAB simulate. Um, we have two batteries down here that can uh, power the system. They're approximately, each battery, one kilowatt hour. So we have just over two kilowatts hour in energy storage. They're connected to this uh, AC inverter that provides a modified sine wave. So I can turn it on here. Um, have to make sure these things are switched on such that uh, the batteries are actually connected. So you see, right now our AC inverter uh, is powering two loads. It did this monitor and this small fridge. Um, so total for them both, about 80 watts. So I can start the whole system by going here and clicking start. So this is kind of a nice and easy to make graphical user interface uh, through MATLAB. So the only thing you see here, uh, we can show different examples of current voltage or power. We have current sensors here, here, and here. And one of them measures uh, DC loads. and also the AC load. So this one here is the combined uh, loads that the battery is seeing. And right now it's just uh, this monitor and that small fridge. So I can turn on the DC loads. So right now you see these two lights turn on, this fan turns on, uh, and this whole bar here activates. So we see the voltage of the battery here. And also there too, uh, this is the uh, fan. These things can power some small DC appliances. We have a little uh, pan and coffee maker. We can make green tea with green power, I suppose. And there's other parts to this system here. So now let me... Right now it's in a case such that it's off-grid, uh, like in islanded mode. Now if we activate the ability to Connect to the grid. There's this power bar here. So I'm just activating that. So this is kind of connected to the wall building. Uh, it will measure the amount of power that we either take from the building or put back to the building. So we have this charger here. Uh, we can charge the battery if we uh, turn on the charging relay. So you see this light turns red because it can sense it's detected to a 12 volt ba battery setup. And it's charging and you see the current uh, ramp up. Now the, the battery current you know, went to negative um, to, it, to indicate it is charging. Uh, so that part works there. Now let me turn off the charger uh, so that thing uh, turns off and I'll enable uh, the solar relay. There's four relays here that we're uh, basically controlling on and off. Either we're connecting either solar on, the grid tie inverter, or the, the charger. This figure here basically illustrates how everything is uh, connected. So it's actually not the best time right now to get solar. We're only getting uh, five amps worth at approximately 12 watts, that's uh, 12 volts, uh, that's about 50 watts in total. Um, if you notice the open circuit voltage here slightly dropped. So the solar first comes in through here, 
This is a maximum power point tracking DC to DC buck converter because it drops down the voltage from here to basically 12.5 volts. Now say we want to send power back to the grid, we activate the GTI grid tie inverter relay and this system, well, uh, the small light here that says it knows it's connected to the grid. Um, if it was not, that light would be off. And you see those green lights circle around. Uh, the more power we send, the faster that would, would spin. So you look here on the system, it's slowly ramping up. So this column here is the combined current of grid tie inverter and charger because they share the same current sensor. And the nice thing about this grid, this uh, GUI is you can click on different parts and it's still a work in progress for us, uh, but we plan to add more full descriptions and uh, improve this demo. Uh, so that's the system there. Thank you. I hope you thought it was cool.